want to point out the presence of odor of urine. And there's not an experiment that we're going to do for this because when you're doing the experiment in person, obviously you can detect via your nose whether or not there's an odor to each of these. And because this is not actual human urine that we're working with in these little cups, then we're not going to be able to smell anything. They haven't spiked any of those with a with an odor. But be aware that patient urine has an odor to it, as you probably know about urine. Different odors, though, that in, indicate a pathology could be the smell of ammonia. If a patient's urine smells ammonia, that could be from food or it could be from ketonuria. Ketonuria for the presence of ketones we're thinking about with uh, diabetics. Fishy smell. A fishy smell could be from the presence of an infection or an inflammation like cystitis. A fecal smell would harken back to that black-brown color that we would see if there were a fistula present between the colon and the urethra, meaning a pathological connection or an opening that would need to be surgically corrected, and or a lack of proper hygiene. Could the person have both at the same time? Sure. An overripe apple smell due to acetone or acetonuria, right, to the presence of acetone, which smells a bit like nail polish remover. And then sweet smelling urine, again, due to the presence of glucose in diabetic urine. So we want to note that odors are possible. These are probably not all of the odors that are possible, but these are the ones that you would want to be familiar with.